Hello and welcome to the sixth math challenge and this right here is my favorite problem in the world. You know, if, if somebody tells me, can you summarize the process of solving math problem with one question? This is the question that I'm going to select because this is purely magical. Yeah, you must have gone through this question. I'm sure of that. Let's go through this and try and understand this first. So all my three sons celebrate their birthday today. So you've got to tell them how old each of them is. Now, of course, like every math problem, you have been presented with some hints here. The first hint, the product of the ages of the sons is 36. Fine, manageable. The sum of their ages is equal to the number of windows on that building. Hey, we don't know what building is being talked about here. So we, we don't know how many windows are there on that building. All right. And the last thing, my eldest son has blue eyes. What if he had green eyes? <laughs> Would that matter to the problem here? So the first step of solving any math problem, okay, is to understand the information presented in the problem. And what is that information that is useful to get the answer, right? Like is blue eyes useful here? Uh, how many windows are there in that building? We, we don't know that, right? So how are we going to proceed solving this problem? Let's first go ahead and understand this. And, and by the way, yes, we are going to solve this using Sherlock Holmes strategy. I'd like to tell you what Sherlock Holmes strategy is. It goes like this. He says, eliminate the impossible. Whatever remains must be the truth. So once uh, something that is impossible has been eliminated, whatever that is remaining shall lead you to the truth, right? So let's use this elimination strategy and figure out the answer to this question. Come on, let's go for it now. First thing, all the three sons celebrate their birthday today. This is going to be very, very important, right? Because on your birthday, your age is an integer right? To be a little precise, a positive integer, because let's say today is your birthday, then you're going to turn 15 years or 14 years or 17 years, whatever it is. On your birthday, your age cannot be like, like 12 years, three months, right? Your age cannot be 15 years, four months. It has to be a proper positive integer, right? So this uh, right here is, is a very, very important hint. And the second hint is the product of the ages is 36. So we've got to think of Three numbers which when multiplied give us 36 and then the sum of their ages and then uh, we will see what to do with the third hint being the eldest son has blue eyes. So this is going to be very amazing. Let's first utilize the first hint along with the information that all the three sons celebrate the birthday on the same day. So product of the ages and as I said the ages have to be positive integers. So all we've got to do first is think of three numbers which when multiplied give us 36. So we're going to go in a pretty structured way. The first possibility is 1 multiplied with 1 multiplied with 36. This is going to give us 36, right? Now, 1 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 18 is also going to give us 36. Next possibility, 1 multiplied with 3 multiplied with uh, 12 is also 36. 1 multiplied with 4 multiplied with 9. Nothing multiplied with 5 gives us 36 because 5 is not a factor of 36. Now, next, 1 multiplied with 6 multiplied with 6 also gives us 36, right? Some other possibilities. Well, now let's get rid of the 1 and break the 6s, the 4s, the 9s, and whatever we can lay our hands on. So this can be written now as uh, 2 multi... Now, the 6, I'm writing it like 2 times 3. So 2 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 6 right? Now 4 can be written as 2 times 2. So this can be 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 9. And uh, you know, I, I'll keep the 4 and break the 9 as 3 times 3. So 4 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 3. Anything else that I can do? I mean 12, I can write it this 12, I can write it like 6 times 2. But 6 times 2 times 3, I already have that combination because the order in which the numbers are multiplied doesn't matter. You know, the combination matters. Or 12 can be written as, uh, you know, 4 times 3. So 4 times 3 times 3, that possibility is also there. 18 here, you can write it like 2 times 9. But 2 times 9 times 9, I already have that possibility. 18 can also be written as 6 times 3. But 2 times 6 times 3, uh, that possibility is also uh, uh, present. So these must be a few combinations, right? And these, of course, uh, let's suppose the ages are A, B and C the product of the ages being equal to 36. Fine. So the guy who was trying to solve the problem must have come up with something like this. And he was like, there are too many possibilities, right? Because these are all the various possibilities uh, for the ages. 
And that's the reason why he must have moved to the second hint. What was the second hint? The sum of their ages. So add all of these numbers. So 1 plus 1 plus 36. This is going to give you how much? 38. 1 plus 2 plus 18. This is going to give you how much? 21. 1 plus 3 plus 12. This, my friend, is going to give you 16. Uh, 1 plus 4 plus 9. How much is that? 14. 1 plus 6 plus 6. This is how much? 13. Uh, and then 2 plus 3 plus 6. How much is that going to be? I believe this is 11. Uh, 2 plus 2 plus 9. This is again going to give you 13. And 4 plus 3 plus 3. This is going to give you 10. So these are the sum of ages. And the sum of the ages is equal to the number of windows. But man, we don't know how many windows are there. And we don't know what building is he talking about. But hang on to this. Let us assume that the number of windows were 38. Okay, let's assume that the number of windows were equal to 38. Then what would you have done? Well, you would have stopped, you would have smiled, and then you would have given the answer because you, you have it, right? The product of the ages, 1 multiplied with 1 multiplied with 36 is 36. The sum of the ages uh, is 38, which is equal to the number of windows that we are assuming. So we have the answer. We don't need the third hint if the number of windows were 38, right? We will only need the third hint if we are still confused. And we will only be confused in two possibilities here. Because we don't know. We don't know which of the 13 it is. Otherwise, uh, if, if, if the number of windows were any of those other options, we would have the answer. There is no need for a confusion. Right? So the number of windows we can now safely conclude since the answer was given after the third hint that windows were 13. Right? Now let's pick the third hint. What was the third hint? My eldest son has blue eyes. So 1, 6, 6, 2, 2, 9. Do you see any eldest son here? A single son? No. But do you see any eldest son here? Yes, the one with whose age is 9. So the right answer to this question here is going to be 2, 2, 9. So the ages of the sons are 2, 2 and 9. And you see how we have done the process of elimination and come at the correct answer. So I hope you enjoyed it. But do think about as to, about, you know, why, why 2, 2, 9 is going to be the answer. I'm sure you've understood that by now. But never. lastly, guys, if you like what you've seen today, hit that like button, share it with your friends as well. They will find Mr. Sherlock Holmes strategy of elimination to be fairly helpful. And by the way, this strategy, you can also use it to solve various multiple choice questions in, in you know, certain entrance exams as well. And lastly, if you still haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for your time. Uh, take care of yourself and bye-bye.